Okay, good morning everybody. I have not been fishing for literally a month to this date. I haven't fished since September 1st and it's the 29th right now. I happen to be up visiting my mother-in-law in Massachusetts. I'm in Pepperell and this is a pond called Healed Pond or I think it's Healed, maybe Held. But um, anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. I think there's supposed to be bass, pickerel, you know, your standard freshwater pan fish in here. So uh, I don't know. This is gonna be a real exploration today. I'm 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 pretty pumped just to be out here because it's been a while. Oh, and I cut my beard. Okay, so it's a cute little trail that goes around here. So I was just fishing this kind of you know little inlet here. It's kind of like a a boat launch, I think. But um. You know, the main part of the lake is further down. Um, pretty little area here. Might have to switch to something weedless. We'll see what the, sh the rest of the shoreline looks like, but there's a lot of lily pads, other stuff. tapping at it. Well guys, we got a freaking rope swing here. Looks like fun. Also looks incredibly dangerous. But this tells me one thing about this spot. Is this has got to be some deep water here. Right off the shore. Um, probably worth a few casts. So let's see. Wow, I wonder if people still use this. The rope actually looks like it's in good shape, but here's the platform. Man, I'm telling you, if you if that rope snaps or if you take a wrong, you know, step or if you get spooked by your own weight, you're screwed. This is very, I mean, the camera probably doesn't even do it justice, but this is a crazy, crazy spot here. Dang. Damn it, well, it's not on film, but it's like a really good spot of like castable shoreline. And of course, there has to be two like teenagers making out. So, don't want to be rude, disturb them. So, I gotta keep walking. That pisses me off though. You can make out anywhere, you can't fish anywhere. Anybody making out over here? Good. Here we go. Alright, there is supposed to be a path around this whole lake. There's no f path. I'm just bushwhacking now. Really just trying to get back to where I started. Now I'm in like people's backyards. It's not good. All right, so I have cuts all over my legs, mud, mud all over my shoes and legs. Uh, bushwhacked through pretty much the second half of this lake because the trail just stopped and I was going through backyards and it was a mess and now I'm thirsty and angry. Um, back to where I started and I just found this on this here rock, inline spitter, kind of like what I started with except it's got some darker hairs coming from it and a little hologram thing here. So. Since I've had such a bad day, I'm going to just try this. I'm going to go with what the locals are using. And, uh, you know, we'll see. I see some sunfish here in this area. I'm back in that inlet, so I don't know if any big fish are over here. But uh, I'm not going to go through that. I'm not going to make another circuit or anything. I probably only got about 10, 15 minutes anyway. So here we go. Okay, guys. Well, I just got a fortuitous text from my wife who is also my ride that she's gonna be 45 minutes late from our 12:30 pickup time so that means I think it is worth a shot to go back out this way where there is still a trail to the main lake and uh, take some casts maybe go back to where I got some bites earlier um, still not a lot of time but better than nothing all right before I throw that drop shot on for the grand finale we're going to try a Rapala jerk bait. This is a rip stop 09, whatever that means. 
hoping this doesn't dive too low. I don't think it will. So hopefully it'll be, you know, weedless by design. Let's see how it looks. I think, ooh, yeah, it sends out a nice shimmer. Stays above the weeds. Pickerel. Pickerel followed it in. I saw a pickerel followed it. He saw me then. I swear, you might even see that on film. A pickerel followed it in. Nice little pickerel followed it right in. Alright, I'm, I'm keeping this thing on until the end, I think. Oh, there it is. Wait, wait, wait. I see him. I see this guy. It's right there. Great, great. There's my ride. They said 115. This isn't fair. Okay, guys, that'll go in the archives. Never to see the light of day. Good afternoon, Lashana Tova, to those of you who celebrate. Um, I have a nice little Monday off here. I know we haven't seen each other in about a month. Uh, this is my second time out since the last time you saw me, but my first time was yesterday and I got skunked in Massachusetts, no less. So we are out at Lake Sabago. Um, this is my second time here up in uh, Harriman State Park. But uh, looking at a map, it's actually a pretty big lake. So I really only explored a small fraction of it. But we did catch like a two pounder here last time. So we know there's some decent fish. So come along. I really hope I have some good luck today because uh, I haven't been fishing as much and uh, it would really just make my month to catch something nice or a few nice things. All right, we'll put the you on the uh, chesty and uh, let's go. Okay guys, my bait caster, which was just spooled with 15 pound fluoro, just kept getting tangled up and uh, I had to just give up. So we're down to my little Shimano, 10 pound braids straight to the lure. We have a Rapala rip stop on there. I guess, uh, you know, things can't just go well first, second time fishing in one month. Haven't caught a fish since September 1st. Okay, folks, we're going to drop shot. Super heavy drop shot weight on there because I don't have real ones with me for some reason. Cool of something on the graph there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, shook the worm too. Well guys, look at that. On my way back to the dock, been out here forever. Finally, a little bass. Mwah, that makes me feel good. Oh my gosh, that was really a last second bass. Look how close I am to the dock. I was just thinking, well, Goes to show you, man, right in the lilies. So I had just casted, okay, buddy, here we go. Nice bass. Um, I had just pet casted uh, to the shore and I lost my drop shot weight, so all I had left was the uh, 
the worm on the little drop shot hook. I casted it, and uh, I forget what happened, but the uh, line got tangled around my pole, so I was untwisting it, and by the time I got back to my reel, I had that little fish on. It's ridiculous. Well, I don't know. Should I make a video out of that? Maybe just like a little five-minute thing just to show I'm still out here. I actually caught something. Man, those last minute fish. I feel like that happens to me a lot. Maybe we should circle around and try it again. Same thing, right? All right, guys, I'm gonna stick around these lily pads just a little bit longer. Um, so, still just got that tiny drop shot hook on there just because I'm not gonna waste time putting a new hook on, but uh, I've wacky rigged it. A Senko style worm just to give it a little more weight than that drop shot worm had. Better sink rate, as they say. There's one. Ah! He took it right off the top, too. Okay. That was a small, small fish. There's a bigger one. There's a bigger one. Sorry, bad angle. Oh, it's not that much bigger. It is a little bit bigger. Ooh, he's so good. All right. Another one. Gosh, I worked for these mofos. So can't find a pattern, but at least we got two now. Okay, buddy. Unfortunately, I do have to pack up soon. Because, uh, well, I'm sure the park closes at dusk, but also... Um, it's a pain putting my boat back on the car in the dark. Maybe a couple more casts. Felt a lot bigger because it was caught up in some weeds. Which is good that I had this braid on to pull it out. Fish. Tiny, tiny sunfish. Or what the? What are you? Green sunfish. Hooked through the gill somehow. Little green sunfish. Oh gosh, that's gotta be painful. But it came right out. Nice little green sunfish. Slap in the camera. Green sunfish. Well, okay, took all afternoon and some of the evening, but we ended up catching some fish. Uh, no thanks really to the electronics, but um, you know, finally found a few small ones in the pads. It's better than none. So uh, don't know how much, I, I'm still pretty busy with work. Don't know how much I'm gonna be out here making videos, but uh, it's, it was good to uh, be out and uh, catch a few fish I'm still kind of frustrated that I can't you know make it happen until these last minute heroics but uh, what can I say so guys I hope this was somehow entertaining for you um, I'm gearing up for the winter I'm thinking about you know what I'm gonna do for ice fishing and all that jazz um, still probably not gonna see too many videos from me in the fall but just know, as I said over the summer, that I will always be anxious to get out fishing and to make more content. So, please like, please subscribe, please tell your friends, please tell your family, please tell anyone else you can think of. And as always, guys, fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.